Hello, vector artists of the internet and other weirdos. Welcome to another Illustrator Geek tutorial video. Today, let's get right to it. We're going to follow up on yesterday's video. Yesterday, we created a set of actions in the uh, actions panel that allowed us to create some isometric objects quickly and easily. Today, we're going to set up some actions that allowed us to undo everything we did yesterday. Uh, in other words, to take an existing isometric object and deconstruct it to flatten it back down to its component pieces. So let's go open up Illustrator. And we're going to open up the document we created yesterday. And you'll remember, whoops, update. Now nah, remind me later. You'll remember we created this, uh, this, I, this Nike shoe box, but we're not gonna reverse that one. Let's go over here and uh, and remember this, we created an action that would turn this panel into this left side panel. Let's go ahead and, and play that so you remember what happens. Left side becomes, we hit play and it turns into the left hand panel. The right side will hit the right side, hit play. And the top, it's over the left, so I'm going to go to top over left. Oh, I misspelled that, top from left. And hit play. And there we have the things. But let's, we, what we want to do is actually reverse these actions. So here's what we do. We're going to take this whole set, this whole isometric action set. We're going to drag it down over to this folder that says create new set. So drag it down there and it creates a copy. Well, copy, that's boring. Let's not call it isometric actions copy. Let's call it isometric actions reverso. So starting on the left side, instead of going scale and then shear, Actually, what we're going to do is go shear and then scale. And instead of shearing at negative 30, we're going to do the opposite to undo the shear of 30. And then instead of the scale down to 86% horizontal, we're going to scale it back up to 115.47%. 115.47 is the, uh, the reciprocal of 86.603. Math. Look at that. Wow, it's already done. In fact, it's, uh, it went right back to a, a square that's 100 by 100 pixels. In fact, you can confirm that if you look up over here in your properties panel, 100 by 100 pixels. For the right side, right now we're going scale and shear. So again, click this, drag it up. So it goes shear and then scale. Shear instead of minus 30, we're going to go plus 30. And scale instead of 86.6, we're going to go 115.47. There we go. And you can confirm up here, it's 200 by 100 pixels. Actually, it's 200.001 pixels. It's one thousandth of a pixel too wide. Oh no, what's going on? You know what, I don't know what's going on. I think it has to do with rounding errors. Um, it's one thousandth of one pixel off. Well, listen, I don't think that's gonna be that big of a problem. Um, in fact, I tested it a little bit. You, it's impossible to tell. If you would need a thousand of these boxes next to each other on your screen before it ever became any kind of an issue. So yeah, don't worry about it. For the top one, it gets a little more interesting. This was top from left. In fact, let's make a copy. Okay, I'm going to click Shift and Alt. Let's do top from left. So instead of scale, shear, rotate, over here I'm looking, we're going to go rotate and then shear and then scale. For rotate, it's minus 30. Let's do the opposite, which is plus 30. For shear, it's 30. So opposite is minus 30. And the scale, again, I'm going to enter 115.47. That's the reciprocal value of 86.603. And 86.603, you will remember, whoops, what am I doing? 86.603 is the cosine of 30 degrees. All right, that was silly. Okay, this we're going to do the top from right. Instead of scale, shear, rotate, we're going to go, whoops, sorry, rotate, shear, scale. 
Rotation will be negative 30 degrees. Shear is going to be plus 30 degrees. And scale is going to be, again, 115.47. And confirming, our new box is 200 by 100. So there you go. Now we have created a set of actions that took this box, this three-dimensional isometric box, and it undid it. It flattened it back out. Let's do a quick test by going back to our Nike shoe box and deconstructing this Nike shoe box. So I'm going to, right now I know this top is actually grouped, so let's go to Object, Ungroup. There it is. Top, it wouldn't really matter if we wanted it to rotate over to the left or to the right. So let's just pick one, let's just say top from right and then flatten that out. This is actually a left side, so play the left. Oops, I'm sorry, it's not a left side at all. It's a right side. Hit the right side action. This is also a right side. Hit the right side action. This is a left side. Hit the left side action. This is a left side also. Hit the left side action. And this is a top over the, uh, well, in this case, under, but uh, over the right side, top from right. There you go. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Actions that allow you to reverse isometric objects. I think what I want to do is uh, play around with isometrics a little bit, maybe create, uh, create something that's kind of cool. I like architectural drawings. Um, I think that's going to be my next video, is just to kind of create something cool, and I'll record it maybe as I go, and you can uh, follow along. So anyway, I hope this was kind of fun for you. Create that set of actions. Again, remember, you can always save it by going up to your flyout menu here and just hit Save Actions. Right there it is. And Isometric Actions Reverso. Save it wherever you want to save your actions. Your favorite action saving location. Everybody has one on their computer. Place where you save Illustrator Actions. All right, I think that's about it for today. Thanks for watching. Um, hit subscribe, uh, click the notification bell, do all that kind of fun stuff. Short video today. Hope you had fun watching it. I had fun making it. And see you next time.